This is Uprising. I'm Sonali Kohatkar. Professor John Yu, famous for authorizing what became known as the Bush era torture memos, says even he can't get behind the CIA's definition of enhanced interrogation methods. In the 500 plus page release of a Senate Intelligence Committee report on the CIA's treatment of prisoners during the post 9 11 years, horrific practices such as rectal feedings, uh, John Yu said on CNN, quote, if these things happened as they're described in the report, they were not supposed to be done, and the people who did those are at risk legally because they were acting outside their orders. Yu seems to be distancing himself from former Vice President Jake Cheney, who has unabashedly made the rounds of news media defending the CIA's barbarism and even invoking Yu's legal memos to justify the abuse. Today, in the wake of this explosive report and the conversation it is once more generating about our national morals, we turn to Juan Cole, who is the Richard B. Mitchell Collegiate Professor of History at the University of Michigan. He's written extensively on modern Islamic movements in Egypt, the Persian Gulf, and in South Asia. He's lived in various parts of the Muslim world for nearly 10 years and continues to travel widely there. He speaks Arabic, Farsi, and Urdu. His books include Engaging the Muslim World, Napoleon's Egypt Invading the Middle East, and his most recent called The New Arabs, How the Millennial Generation is Changing the Middle East. Since 2002, he has published the blog Informed Comment at juancole.com. He also writes for truthdig.com. In fact, Juan is in LA where this program is produced to speak at an event called Monsters of Our Own Creation, America's Role in the Middle East, this Thursday, December 18th at 6.30 p.m. at the Santa Monica Bay Women's Club, 1210 4th Street in Santa Monica. I'm very pleased to welcome to the program Juan Cole. Thank you, Sonali. Thanks so much for joining us. Well, I've read your work uh, for many years, and I'm so excited that you're here uh, and able to speak with us at this very moment in time when this report has come out. And just this morning, we had the story of this unfolding hostage crisis in Sydney uh, that may be linked to the Islamic State because of its iconic black flag with white lettering that was seen in the window of the store where people were taken hostage. Now, when ordinary people try to make sense of such an incident, all they see is this barbarism, they see this insanity, uh, they must hate us for our values, quote unquote. How do you explain what seems to be a sort of persistent support of groups like the Islamic State among people all over the world? How do you explain that to ordinary people? Well, there isn't actually much support for this group. Mm -hmm. uh, and every community has its extremists. Uh, there are a certain number of uh, white Americans who are really into neo-Nazism and uh, white supremacy and the Ku Klux Klan. In fact, back in the 20s, the Ku Klux Klan actually took over the state of Indiana. Uh, so uh, it's, it's not... And that didn't come to define the entire country necessarily. White people do, don't get tagged in the same way that minorities get tagged uh, by the most extreme elements in their midst. With regard to what happened in Australia, this guy's just a whack job. Uh, he's actually an Iranian Shiite. Right, uh, and who, this who Islamic State is a Sunni group. Is a, uh, kills Shiites, uh, and uh, this guy, you know, put himself out as some kind of mystical healer. He's uh, been been charged with accessory to various crimes. Uh, he's he's just a, a disturbed individual, and announced uh, a month ago that he'd gone over to the hardline Sunni Salafi form and mm. was now a Muslim mm. and so forth. Th this, this is not, you can't read off anything from this guy. He, he's just a disturbed individual. And uh, he's not even, you know, a member of the, uh, uh, of the mainstream Sunni community in, in Australia. And, and the Sydney people actually have been very good about promising that there won't be, you know, reprisal uh, 